now. Bina Isik as well as anti Blitzcrank. Do you think Bina Isik has what it takes to come back again? Because this seems to be, you know, a journey for them to actually head towards their rematch here. Because this is actually, is I believe, banning. to be their rematch. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Give me a second. Well, uh, of course, uh, with rematch or no rematch, it definitely okay, is. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, a little bit different. I know in rehearsals mm -hmm. we have put both names together to a two. I know, but right? But this is actually happening. Lower brackets, and now we have Sun as well as the Jahid being banned away. Meanwhile, Moskov as well as the Harley has been eliminated. So, very targeted bans on top of the Nasik, meaning they should actually go for something else. So, oh, going for the very first pick, Your this is where is the x book is left available. Pain oh, no. completely secures it, want to go on that tank. So, that, we've hey, seen hey, the jungling. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. You, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you, you're on the right track. Jungle export, okay? But at the same time, they have the flexibility of playing tank export, silent export, which yes. is not too uncommon now, but it's super annoying to deal with here because sometimes you, you don't expect them to do this and they do a jungle export, which kind of works True out in favor. And, you know, there was also Benedetta oh. that was being left out in the what? open, which was where they actually go ahead to secure both Haya alongside with Benedetta. So... Most likely or, or not, but it can still go into the jungle if they really want to. It's still going to be working absolutely fine. And there's a lot of good flanking potential and you can impact more when it comes down to some of all these contests coming in for above. But hitting in towards Benesi. This is going to be Popo as well as Koopa along with the Luna. So let's talk through about this sort of composition that Nasik has, I think it's a very good balance. Yeah, I feel like there is so much flexibility here. Lunox has, is also another hero current in the meta as well, where you have a little bit of flexibility into a silence mid lane as well as a potential. Yeah, that's about it, right? But Popo Gupa is also a great support now, just because it just gives you so much utilities. But my question here is, seems like anti Blitzkrieg is in a situation where they actually respect 30 Gaming's Moskov and they chose to first phase ban the Your Moskov. Team is banning. Mm -hmm. Which and is uh, kind of surprising for me. <laughs> I, I think it's actually a very smart move. It forces 30 to actually go for different kind of marksmen or different particular plays because it's a span Moskov, Moskov, and Moskov. I guess it's like, okay, this is where it's the end of the line and anti Blizzard says anti Moskov is the way to go. <laughs> agreed, agreed, agreed. But now, coming to Kaja Ban, Kaguro Ban as well. Kaguro is going to be showing respect soon to Zam Z, but at the same time, that is going to force Zam Z to play something else. We know Linars to be a very, very strong jawhead player, which kind of showed himself in day number one here. So people are starting to realize that, hey, they should shut him down. So having him in Matilda is going to be a little bit of breath of fresh air. But Zam Z, there's a lot of mages coming on the pool. He can have the option to go for Lo Yi. He has the option to go for Farsa if he wants to. Welcome but are to those the best choice to deal with in X4? That's uh, going to be another thing here. But it looks like they are going to keep his hero up for opens here. And they secure their marksman. And this is going to be the Granger up on Ace. I think it's very decent. Especially when you mm -hmm. don't have too many assassins being to the table just about yet. So Granger does have a little bit more, more room. But... We still have this final two picks, which can be maybe a little bit of assassins that can be introduced. But without that Harley, at least you know that he has more of this sort of room to still escape out of it. Meanwhile, Ruby as well as Roger, this is more of a sustained composition when it comes down to uh, team fights where they can have multiple front lines to really go in for a poke. And Roger probably will be the secret weapon that 30's game, 30 Gaming has been able to play. Let me tell you this, Nationals, 30 has been able to pull up this game where he will go up to 23 kills. On wow, the that's uh, during right. their Nationals, right? Yeah. That was, uh, that's something to actually uh, take into account for as well. But at the same time, is he going to be able to pull it off this game? It feels like they have their solid roster here. They, they've got the export, they've got the Ruby, very strong frontliners here. It seems like it is going to be a finally a side lane export, not a jungle export. Probably Finally, so. yeah, uh, I, I like it. Like, uh -huh. uh, that's why you go in for X work because he's so flexible. Mm -hmm. And finally, Chang uh, coming into it with a picture here, Anthony Blitzkrieg will be able to actually uh, go in for at least a chunk of damage so that 
the Furaga armor will eventually be popped and having the last insanity to really explode in front of their face at least. Agreed. But of course, having the Chang Er now means that the meteor shower is going to be a big threat here from the side of the Popo and Koopa. But of course, can they shut him down? That's going to be a question here. But now, seeing this draft on is in the picture here, let's sum it up a little bit here, all right? So, from Bina Isik, they have a little bit of flexibility. Okay, now mind. It is going to be the side lanes here. They have three really, really annoying uh, side laners or front liners, which is Ruby, Popo, Koopa, as well as Xbox, to cause havoc into this team fight. It's going to be a very hard breakthrough of defense. But anti blitz Craig, they have the Chang Er to clear, make the pay way. They have a little bit of aggression with Matilda. Uh, gives a little bit more mobility from Benedetta and Hayabusa here. Seems like Spinner Isaac is going for a Steam Rock uh, defense, whereas anti blitz Craig is keeping options open for with the mobility and a little bit of quick clear here. Mm. So based on this summary here, who do you think has the better draft? Well. I think that it's kind of like great drafts overall from both ends. It's more of like when you put two and two together, it's about the strength and weaknesses on both sides. Like, Power Spike coming in early game, anti Burst Creek definitely has a fair share of deal. But late game scaling-wise, Benasic looks to take the kick because you can uh, all sorts of tankiness, survivability, pokes, and magic damage. It's all out there. Linar's now looking for that pick, but Fast team, he's oh, really hopping right in. It's the first blood for the Benedetta. Wow, that was a very, very quick takedown as well here. Fast team with the quick rotation from the top side. Immediately clears the creep if immediately joins into the fight and go for the search pickoff here. Then I like, did not expect that at all because anti police Craig is uh, in a situation where they can, you know, they they they, they call themselves anti blitz Craig, but they are Blitzkrieg itself in this sense. It means so are they aggressive. empty themselves? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I, I know, I know. There are like a huge tank out there. Oh waiting no! To blow up, but Ooh, okay, 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 okay. This is Firaga armor, but he's just gonna be a okay for the moment until Thirty Gaming is gonna be contributing. Just looking for his elements to be up all available, but Yuri so far can just hold her own as a ruby. Here comes the dive though. Yep, here comes the dive. Chango is getting focus now, and the oh, the death sonata will be in, the, in his banks here as he takes down both Changu as well as Honda Biz as an oh. anti police Great will completely shut them down. Very great and, here coming from them. And that's in a blink of an eye. Like everybody was so well on point that they just went hard on the members of the Nasek. Now, going for a little bit of raid inside the jungle, they won't be able to steal buffs just about yet. 30 going for a little bit more chase. Now, a little bit of challenge on the turtle. Meanwhile, Yuri just waiting on the sidelines. Fast will go right in. Three members hop right on top of him, but it will not be enough of a burst damage coming through. Benasic now having a little bit of struggle, needing to answer to this turtle. Yeah, having the Kaja considering banner as well, having the Ruby as an alternative, they need a way to actually shut down fast team, but seems like here comes the Meteor Shouter, so the steal, but the steal comes in. 30 Gaming takes the job done, they've gone turtle ball, but they do not have the help to challenge this here. Seems like anti blizzard does not want to overcommit to this, but Bina Isik with the steal means gives them a little bit of economy swing. However, rotation-wise, top side is already on its way. Meanwhile, uh, they've got a turtle, it's all up to 30 gaming to go in for the aggression, but Honda Beast does not have his out. Fast team already clearing the creep waves and is gonna go for the health reset. Samzi, Dainaris is gonna go here in as well, but 30 gaming, he misses like and bounce. He's gonna focus oh. on the creep. Looks like he will back up, doesn't wanna overcommit. Meteor shower to clear the creep waves as well. Mm -hmm. Seems like anti Blitzkrieg, they wanna hold down the middle tower for as long as they can. And overall, I do think that Yuri can be able to actually hold against a Hayabusa where he is kind of in a precarious situation. Maybe a little bit more rotation will come out of the Haya instead in about one more minute or so. That's where the next turtle will come right in. They're already going for invades. So maybe losing this one out. Ace now in trouble though. He has to back away a lot of chunk of help being taken out. But he still survives to tell the tale. Here comes Meteor Shower. A little bit out of range, but it's all okay. Yep. And a little bit of assistance as well here. If uh, Bina Isaac decides to get a little bit over aggressive, but now great attempt coming in. That means Ace will be a little bit disrupted to the station. Nothing that big, but fast team, what is going on? Looks like it is going to be a little bit of an issue here. Versus Anthony Blitz Creek. And it's only going to be slight advantages right now for Anthony Blitz Creek. Yep, and as of now, seeing how that uh, Bina Isaac is able to equalize the score here means that uh, Bina Isaac is going to be able to steamroll his way into towards a little bit of a competition. But yeah, 
as of now, as we can see, this is uh, not something that I was expecting, considering that anti blizzard they have the Meteor Shower, are going to be able to secure the Retribution from side of Ace, because now, both teams still holding on towards the turtle, but not making any sort of attempts. But top side, Painflix is going to get completely bullied out. But Painflix is going to be able to hold on. But looks like the attempt has been made. Bin Isik is going to try and make a dive into this. But looks like the turtle will finally be hit in his way. But anti blitzkrieg not going to be able to challenge this as well. Fastly also getting harassed. Wow, Honda Bees. Whoa. Doing a lot of damage. I just love the way that they've been able to actually pull in with the turtle so quickly as well. Now. They have been able to bounce back from the deficit. Now both equalize on 14.2. Or should I say at least Blitzkrieg will have a little bit more farm and they'll so we'll go back to even. Fast team though. Oh boy. He is taking a little bit too much. Turdy alongside with Honda. They're already marching right through. Not really necessary to go in with too much of a resource. He goes in with the wind talker being built up as well. First kill for Turdy. And yep. maybe man more to come. Meanwhile, top side. Yep, top side as well. Pain is gonna go for the insanity as well. Going for the disposition, but he's gonna get focused down. Okay, Shadow Kill is there, but he's got the immortality and another set of Firogama. You know, GC is gonna go there as well. Oh. Gonna pull him out of position, but he is gonna be A OK. That's the power of the X Ball, but they will lose the tier one up top. Space has been created, but Chang'o is here to provide assist. And Ace, oh no, it's gonna be some trouble. Here comes Ducketing Force as well. Chango. And Ace does not have to take Sonata, and he will pay the price. And that's gonna be a nice catch here coming from Binesic. What a response. Look at the rest of the members they heard actually pushing over on the tier two. They managed to secure it right now. This is where the Meteor Shower needs to be popped so that they can't avoid even more turrets from falling in the hands of the Nasik. anti Blitzkrieg, they are slowing down in this tempo because of the way that the Nasik has been able to respond. But here comes OG Shadow Kill dropping right there. And that's where they also pop in the last insanity. But Honda Beast coming for the chase. Turdy's going to join alongside. Malika is going to be pouncing on top of them. But Key, he will be able to juke back out into safety. Yep, nicely done there coming from Key as uh, he was able to buy a little bit of time. But great call there coming from Minasi here, immediately ignoring the fact that, hey, there's no point contesting a key there as they want to try and make an attempt to the tier one. But it seems like rotations have been made from anti district to stop this in its way. They go into the top and they will back out. So another attempt down bottom here is going to be Oshi Yuri, but it is a Rudy. So it's going to be a little bit wet noodle fight between him, her, as well <laughs> as Fast Team. So I don't know. It seems like lane control-wise, Minasi is helping hand, and that's going to be opening things up for the turtle. Anti Blitzkrieg, they have the challenges here. This third turtle is going to be important. samzi has got a medium shower, but Retribution is available up on 30 gaming. So who's going to get it? Keeping it there, but the turtle will be safely secure with the Retribution. So that's going to be safe and sound. But Yuri getting a little bit greedy, but she is surprise, surprise. Anti Blitzkrieg, they're not responding to her at all. I, I think it's good enough. As long as you keep this banner in the lane, then the rest of Benesic will be able to actually follow suit, trying to actually take on uh, this tier one over on the mid side. Meanwhile, slow rotation coming in from Yuri. Nobody's going to be diving this tank at any point of time for the moment. 7 minutes, 45 seconds, and we have got, like, what? Three turtles oh, in the hands no. of Nasik already. Now, Pain may not be able to escape, but the only one touch of a button. It's going to be the auto attacks coming in from the side of Key. With a little bit more blades being shine right through. Order of being popped. Tangu does survive for a tap in. Here comes Circling Eagle! Oh no, the Circling Eagle comes in. Linear GC not going to be able to have to follow up. Does not have damage. We'll pay the price. Unfortunately, you say uh, Anthem Blitzkrieg, they are having trades 50 50s here as Bina is like, And surprise enough, despite having the economy lead, Anthem Blitzkrieg, they're doing pretty okay with this 50 50 trade off. Yeah, and so far with even all these sort of 50 50 trades that they are getting, eventually when it comes down to the late game, there is a very high potential that both key as well as fast. They can go in for those split pushes, and maybe with Nasik will have a little bit of a tough time to deal with it. But then again, it also leaves room for Turdy to go in for some really smooth pickoffs, and that's what we really want to look at. Endless Battle for decided Yuri as well. So I guess that key will have to just leave this turret B. It's not really an under threat of a siege. Yuri takes a little bit too much of a shot of the turret blows, but at the Chris Creek, they're setting up something right here. Yep, now here comes the ring gauge coming from Dirty Gaming here to connect as a now. Bina Isik is going to go to put the continue, but they can't. Zamzi God is just isolating him. Oh, she really Yuri. couldn't almost pay the price here, but oh, she so clutches close. it with the last HP there, almost paying the price. But anti Blitzkrieg, 
They uh, seem to have a very clear objective, but the Nars was definitely not expecting the push coming in. They still got Chang U, which is the fortunate kill, but 30 Gaming shows that he does hit a hard, hard damage. Yeah, and anti Blitzkrieg slowly getting in towards the right track already, especially when Ace comes right across. Now the only concern is that can any of them actually get a Lord being secured? Fnatic, they still have a little bit more upper hand over on the river, and it's really annoying to deal with Papua and Koopa, especially having Koopa going into for a stun one guy up for a short moment or so. Speaking of which, that's fast getting caught out. Yeah, fast team now gonna try and back out of this fight, but it is Benedetta. It's gonna be A okay. Oshiri gonna completely focus down, Ooh. but he is gonna get slowed in the track here. But Oshiri does have more sustainability to out DPS him, so that's gonna be. A little bit of blunder here coming from Key. However, the fight will continue here. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, a little bit of a <laughs> safety net. Finger. Safety net. <laughs> yes. It's all right. It's all right. It, it's a safe place to be. Just wait for a reset. But Yuri! Oh, boy. The Death Sonata working very well. But his life is getting chomped away while the dive comes right in from Turney. He's hunting under the turret. Looking for time to oh. go. He gets the triple kill. And the killing spree is going to be able to keep him alive here. And uh, this is going to be Vina is going on an offense here as he continues the lead. Lord is going to be up for grabs. They've got the triple. I think they have done as well. Painflix just going to try and isolate the fight as he is going to be super, super annoying here. He's trying to zone them all out. Lord is going to be coming in half HP. Can they take the kill here? Retribution is still not available for five more seconds. So they are going to be waiting up on 30 gaming. They have to retribution. To secure the kill by Key. Looking for the 10. Insanity is there, but eventually the retribution gets it. Your K almost thinking about the snipe there as 30 gaming was stunned up, but fortunately for Honda B, the Popo surprise will, was able to stop him there. Yeah, here comes Meteor Shower, but this is going to be a little bit of trouble if Samzi overextends. Popo and Koopa always at the side of the oh, mid lane. Wow. Meanwhile, Painflix, I guess he's just going to casually clear off the mid ways, but if the OG cat shadow kill might connect. It could be a little bit more troublesome, but then again, he's just going to be going in for retreat, goes in for a slight reset. Meanwhile, they will need to escort this Lord, especially Benasic now. They are looking for a little bit of siege over the mid side. So this is going to be a good uh, call coming out with a 1 3 1 split formation coming over from the side of the basic. You know, I feel so bad for Honda Beast. He was just there, you know, hoping that Koopa blocks the shot, but Koopa just sidesteps his way and he takes the full shot coming from Ace. That's so, so, so unfortunate. But, you know, what's not unfortunate here, the Lord is going to be knocking down towards the doors of anti Blitzkrieg on the bottom side. So that's going to be a little bit cheaper away, but Luminous Lord is not there. So not going to be having the initial burst coming in, but the Meteor Shot will be enough to defend against this here. Middle tower as well. Surprise, surprise. The minions are still outside. And I was expecting this tier one to fall. But Key doing a fantastic job installing the way through. But Vina is saying they are going to make any jab as well. This tier one. Oh, they do not have the damage. Uh, My yeah. goodness. They are going to tank this way through using Koopa. But now popping the out as well. Trying to install his way through. But is this the right call? It's forcing K bait here. But whoo, Key. Very, Some very quick close. Quick fingers. Yeah, and I guess that anti Blue Creek definitely managed the waves well enough so that they can actually get right into the tracks. And that Lord didn't really hit hard over on towards inhibitor. So that's the best news that they can get. Buying a little bit more time, only about 4,000 indifference when it comes down to gold. Yuri tries to go in for a slight setup. Changu's just waiting alongside the edges. They've already got the Holy Crystal up available for the side of Changu. So expect Changu to be hitting a little bit harder than usual. Agreed, agreed. But uh, now, seeing an itemizations here coming in from both teams, we do have the Brute Frost Breastplate up on Ace, means that it's going to be a little bit of tankiness coming from Granger. But the damage, you can see double blades has been made as well. They're looking for the Blade of Despair. And once that's up, maybe he'll be oh. even, mm -hmm. hit even harder here. But Fame Flakes now with Insanity, forced the property preemptively to back out. So he's going to go recall back to the base. While that's happening here, top side, the attempt comes in. The Lecto final blow is there. But uh, looks like it is not going to do too much here. As uh, you can see, Bina is slowly chipping away the tears. Do with the Popo and Koopa. Push but them. Now the middle push coming oh. very quickly done here coming from anti Blitzkrieg. That just melted. Like, I, I thought that it, it felt like a five man effort, but it's only coming from like three members of anti Blitzkrieg. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really matter all too much. They secured two turrets in a row over on through. Oh, no. All the tier was are down. Oh boy. Okay. Going back to safety. 
late. Uh, well, BOE is already up. So this is going to be Ace here giving a big power spike to give a spike here. Last is out being popped. Mid lane turret being secured by the side of Benasic. But they will definitely play it a little bit more safely, hoping to catch on to Fast Team. Agreed. Top side as well. Fast Team go, oh, does have a little bit of six cents coming oh, in, boy. but oh, the damage coming from Chang. Ooh, starting to hurt here. Uh oh. Leonardus needs to back off, but here comes the dive count. Oh! In. Oh, for the brilliance as well. Catch it on two. Fast Team is going to be next on top of that, and Leonardus not a little bit too slow for the gliding win, and that's going to be two paying the price. Whereas Benasic looking to go in towards the knock towards the tier threes here. As you can see, Tier 3 is getting stopped away, and Popo and Koopa, very quick damages and pokes as well as anti Blitzkrieg. Do they have what it takes here? The meteor shower is so crucial to defend. This push, but the constantly anti Blitzkrieg. Lord, gonna be the focus here for Binancing. Are there gonna be a challenges here? Because from behind, he setting up for the steal potentially but Chango is gonna check it seems like he will go to focus as well Brilliant has been there as well key waiting for the okay shadow kill but a little bit too late the lord already down for the count as anti blitzkrieg not in position to contest that at all yeah i guess that when it comes down to positioning it could be a little bit better coming from anti blitzkrieg as well they were not really in the right point of time to even go in for any sort of contest now they got another lord coming in the way Benasic so far playing perfectly when it comes down to the macro plays and that's why they do have an edge over anti Blitzkrieg at the moment but even the Lord will have to fall eventually so doesn't really matter all too much just go in for a slight reset I guess one more touch coming from the minions will do the trick agreed agreed but uh currently right when it comes to the brick wall coming in from Benasic seems like anti Blitzkrieg, they're really struggling to actually take down the front lines. And we talked about this before. And now with the Winter Chunky up with Changku, it seems like it is going to be another hot attempt here. Meteor Shower has been expended as well to clear the creep waves. That means Menacing, they're going to be able to chunk away at the towers as well. With using the power of Koopa, they're actually tanking towers and doing some significant amount of damage regardless of minion or not. Tito. Yeah, and as much as they don't really have minion waves, it just is a little bit more of a tickle on the turret. It does work better when uh -oh, minions arrive. He... That will actually remove a little bit more of those sort of the armory coming in from the turrets itself. So, as it currently stands, the split push are in effect. So, Benasic now is just trying to find ways to balance it overall. Meanwhile, anti Blitzkrieg buying a lot more time as per usual. Agreed, agreed. But as of now, Yuri, it seems like she's doing a fantastic job. Early on, she was struggling her matchup with this key, but now she's got enough tankiness here to actually tank the full fledged OK oh, Shadow as well as the high and dry bonus. But now, with the boost coming in, tier 2 is going to be exposed. The sanity completely zoning them all. Ah, the meter shower fully soaked by him means that is going to be a long cooldown up on Zamzi. And I feel like Zamzi is just struggling to find any sort of pick potential because of this meteor shower. Yeah, and I like the fact that Pain is playing very aggressively using the last insanity. And of course, more BOE is coming in tag. Turdy Gaming so far has not even dropped a single time at all. And those layers of defense coming in from Nasik have been absolutely stunning. Speaking of stunning, oh boy, a little bit of a close call there. But Chang'e definitely will have to pay respect towards the side of Anti Blitzkrieg because members of Nasik pretty much scattered across the map. Don't want to go for full commitments, but look at Key though. He's lurking his way, just trying to go in for a little bit of a proxy of wave. So more and more time being bought means that there is chances for anti Blizz quite overall to go in for one good fight. And that's where if it does go in their favor, they could just go in to crush in more towers. Wait a minute here, Key doing a very, very good job. He's got, he's managed to cut the creep wave up top, but this time he's gonna oh, try no. and disengage, but oh no, he immediately disgrants his decision, pops the okay shadow kill to buy him more time. Does he have enough time? No, he does not. That's gonna be him paying the price. Space created and map control, but 40 seconds left before the, the Lord comes in. Anti-Blizzard, this is gonna be the opportunity to push out the creep waves. 
as Oshi Yuri still consistently pushing out the waves with the immortality on top of that. I don't know, anti Blitzcrank, they need a way to shut them down, but now they, Ace. oh no, he's gonna get caught out as no way survived this, and Fast Team's gonna make a run in as well. Dirty Gaming almost going for the full push in, but it seems like the Koopa will sink and the tower as well. The damage has been enough as well. Basic. Solid coming in as well. The Inner's GC is gonna pay the price as well, but Arena is keeping things like, oh! here the Insanity Flicker with Pain Flicks. We'll catch him off, and that's gonna be Ace down for the count, likewise for Linars. What a play! This great. We'll lose so many of the members. He doesn't have immortality. He yet again, he goes in for a flicker last insanity. This guy is just nuts. Okay, okay. We have a lot of things to consider here because Benasic, after that good catch on that Habusa, it definitely gave them so much room to make this work. And this is like what? Third Lord of the game already. 20 yeah. minutes of play. I believe this should be sufficient for them to actually close things up, especially when the Lord's gonna be moving in from the bomb side, which is purely exposing the base itself. The crystal definitely is going to be under siege eventually, and these inhibitors may not last long if these waves are not well juggled by anti -Disco. Yeah, Binance is going to be banging on the fact that the Meteor Shower will guaranteed be used on the Lord, and you know, hopefully they are able to win the team fight and just dive head on in without the fear of Meteor Shower. So the Lord is going to be pushing him down bottom side, but the Middle Tower has been used to it as well. Oh no, Zamzi popped the Meteor Shower on the Middle Tower here. The Lord is going to be having a free reign on the Crystal, so this is not looking good for anti blitzcrank and that means opportunity for Binance. They are going to go full flash dive. The moment the Meteor Shower is down, they push in the top side, bottom is going to be exposed as well. Middle tower is going to be there. Mainflix will use the insanity to zone them back into the fountain there. But now, the comes in. You can see Linaras is trying to his best. He is well instantly going in. But Gasper is down. He's going to be next. What? He tries to make an attempt on Painflix, but instead gets shut down. Monster kill for 30 gaming. 6 0 and 9. The Lord still getting kind of out from fast team. He's trying his best, but eventually the t uh, crystal will be focused out as Bina is a makes a little bit of a turnaround as they advance into a 